Hello. I decided to record this video, what I hope will become a series, on how and what I am doing to become a web developer from nearly scratch. And I'll get on to why I've said nearly in a minute when I go over my background. There's a few reasons why I'm recording this video and like I say this possible series. First up is quite selfish, I'll be honest. I want to use these videos, you know, when I do feel like giving up or, you know, feel really burnt out. I want to use these videos as a way to look back on how far I've come and for motivational purposes. So I think that'll be really useful in the future. I will need it. And the second reason, I do hope this can help people. I, you know, if anyone's starting out as well, and they see this few months time or whatever and um, you know they can see what I've done what worked what hasn't worked and they can take the best bits and leave the worst bits if they are trying to do something very similar so who am I my name's Craig I do have a maths degree and I have worked for about the last six years as some form of analyst. With that kind of job experience I do have, you know, experience coding. Mainly SQL was probably my biggest language. VBA for Excel, very popular, and SAS. Again I was use SAS a lot in one of my earlier jobs. I do have some experience, you know, with R and a few other smaller programs. But those are kind of my main languages. So why I said nearly from scratch earlier is because during the COVID pandemic of 2020, 2021, I was doing a lot of online learning and I tried a web development course. And I honestly just thought it was amazing. Um, I've always enjoyed coding a little bit and yeah, I just found it fascinating that you can write a few lines of code and you have something online that people can see. And the possibilities are, I'm going to say nearly endless, really, because you look at you know sites like CSS, Zen Gardens, where everyone's using the same markup language, but they've all put their own unique twist onto the CSS to make it so unique and you know showing their personalities. I think that is... A really amazing thing to do. So I really want to get into this web development field. During the pandemic I did have a lot of work on so I was really struggling to find time after work to study and I was feeling quite burnt out if I'm honest. So I, it took me quite a few months um, talking to a lot of people but I did eventually come to the decision to quit my job I'm not telling anyone to quit the job it's just my personal preference because I want to go full on into web development so it's a very hard decision but it's one that I think and I hope will pay off it may not focus on learning building a portfolio and getting my name out there as a web developer. And my aim is to get hired as a junior web developer. I don't have any aspirations or stupid ideas that oh I'll do a you know a couple of months and I'll be an amazing coder and web developer. No, I need experience and I need time. So I, I don't have any crazy unrealistic goals. I don't think anyways. I don't think it's gonna be easy. I'm gonna be putting a lot of effort in, like I say six to ten hours a day thinking about coding or actually coding um, I'm hoping to do that five to six days a week I do want a day off though uh, otherwise I will crash and burn my plan I've got the first month planned out very well I think but I haven't planned out the latter months because if something you know, gets knocked off, it's going to knock all my plans. So I do want to have a fairly flexible pl 
plan, but I know what areas I need to work on. So the first month is very much the foundations, you know, revisiting them, getting a good, solid understanding of the basics. So, you know, just HTML and CSS, those are kind of my main priorities. You know, writing clean, semantic code, uh, something that can be understood by anyone. I'm probably just gonna look at doing dry CSS, where it's don't repeat yourself. I think that's very good. You know, media queries, things like that, um, I'm looking to do. Also at the end of the month, like towards the end, I do want to get a basic understanding of Bootstrap. It's not something I want to rely heavily on, but I think in the future it could come in handy, so I want to learn a little bit of it at least. The subsequent months will then obviously be JavaScript. That's going to take a lot of time to learn. So I'm going to, you know, at least do a month on that, maybe a month and a half. I want to get quite comfortable with it. Then you've got WordPress is something else I'm quite interested in learning. There's a lot of WordPress sites out there. I don't know the statistics, but there's a lot. And I think that will be a useful tool in my toolkit to have. That means I might possibly have to learn PHP as well. We'll see how that goes. Then there is a framework. I'm not sure which framework yet. I'm going to look again at job boards a bit closer at that time to see which ones are more popular. But I'm leaving that quite open as well. So those are the big broad topics that I want to look at. There are a few smaller topics, you know, best practices for SEO. Like I want to really understand web hosting as well get a good idea of that. SCSS is another one. And finally GitHub and version control. There's a lot of little things like that I want to have some knowledge on as well. And that is my kind of broad plan. With my plan, I don't want to get stuck doing tutorials. I have been doing quite a few tutorials and not implementing it and I've almost forgotten what I've learned. I don't want to get stuck in just doing that tutorial loop, so I'm going to split my time fairly evenly, I'd say, between tutorials and doing projects. Now, my the term project here is very loose. <laughs> um, it could range from, you know, building a web page or a suite of pages to building individual elements, you know, a nav bar, a sign up form, things of that kind of nature. Definitely in the beginning, it's going to be building elements. I'll probably do a uh, full page at the end of the month or, you know, end of two weeks, something like that, depending on how I progress. But the elements themselves, I think, is going to be quite useful because I can build a bank of them up and you know, if I get stuck in the future, I could go into one of my like, template folders and pull it out. So I think that's a good idea to get into and it will help with my design, you know, just building loads of different uh, elements and seeing how I can make them look on a page. Now, I would be 100% lying if I said I wasn't worried or nervous. You know, I've quit my job, who wouldn't be? I don't have a job in the future, it's very unknown, but I am very excited to go down this path. Some of my major worries, you know, money and time, I think that's everyone's biggest worry. So like I was saying, I've got about six to eight months of uh, a budgeted without, you know, any form of income. The once, you know, around the five or six months, I'm definitely going to be looking for a part-time job. If not, you know, if I don't already have a job in web development or some form of income. The next worry is I don't have a computer science degree. You know, I've got a maths degree, which may count for something. I don't know. Uh, but will that make my market value in the job scene a lot lower than someone who 
does have a computer science degree? Probably. Um, I'll just have to make up for that with a great portfolio. But I am worried that it will mean I get less job opportunities, um, at least in the beginning. Burnout and boredom is another big worry I have. I just need to make sure I have the discipline to carry on. Like I say, the videos looking back on this will be motivation, uh, will help with motivation. But I don't want that to be my sole source um, of getting this done. So I need to be disciplined. And like I say, burnout, it's going to be hard work. I need to make sure I look after myself, you know, get some fresh air, go for some exercise, and take the breaks that, that I need. So that's my plan. You know, I do hope to get hired sooner rather than later, but I'm in this for the long run. Um, I, like I say, and I've really enjoyed what I've seen so far of web development. And I think, you know, doing JavaScript and stuff like that will open a whole new level, which will be really interesting and fun. I'd love to hear from anyone who's already done something similar and if you think there are any areas that I should be looking into. I'd also love to hear if anyone is doing this right now, you know, what is their biggest struggle. But if you have liked this video, please hit the like button and if you want to see how I get on with web development and other videos that I'm doing, please subscribe. I will catch you all later.